something that I love to do is using shortcuts for any task around my computer. I find that using shortcuts really speeds up my workflow and in the long run, it really saves a lot of time, whether it's in editing or whether it's browsing the web or just looking for files. The thing is that using so many shortcuts, it can get a little bit overwhelming and a little bit confusing. And I was looking for a way to manage all of this or to remember shortcuts and stuff like that. And I found this application that kept popping up, Better Touch Tool. I didn't like it at first. It had too many things. And I was just looking for something very simple. But once I started playing with it, I realized that this application had huge potential for me to explore and to personalize how I experience my computer. Better Touch Tool is basically a way to trigger shortcuts on your system or scripts using gestures on your magic mouse, like swapping up, swapping down, with three fingers, with four fingers, two finger clicks, stuff like that. You probably know a lot of gestures by using your phone already. And maybe you have some integrated in your trackpad on your laptop. But this application kind of like pushes this to a whole new level. So let's just jump right into it, guys. I will not go really, really, really into detail because it can get really overwhelming. I will just tell you the interface and I will tell you how I set up some shortcuts, some gestures, and I will tell you maybe like some of my favorites that I use every day. So here we are in the application, Better Touch Tool. This is the main screen. And right out of the gate, whenever you just install it, even before setting anything up, you already got some uh, window management functions. For example, you can just grab this window and move it around like this to the top and it will be full, like maximized or to the right, to one quarter, to the left. This is just for keeping your workspace clean and organized. Now, all of those functions of moving the window around, you can also apply a shortcut to trigger all of that. But I will touch on that in a second. Now here in the interface, you have the left bar, which is like all the applications that you want to control. Normally the all apps is good enough, but sometimes you may need a specific shortcut for one application, or you want to override something that you did with all apps. So you can go in here and add a specific application. Here you choose what you want to control. In this video, we will be focusing on the magic mouse, but you can use the trackpad or you can use the even keyboard shortcuts. There's so many powerful things that you can do with automation, and moving the mouse around. Like even here, I have toggled the dark mode by moving the mouse to the top right corner as I press command. So for example, if I press command, move my mouse to the right, the system switches to dark mode. Not just one thing, but let's go back here to Magic Mouse. So here are all the gestures that I already have set up with different actions. You can add one more here. And there's like for one finger, like middle click, tap above the middle, like on top of the middle, on top of the apple. Um, you have two fingers, like taps, swipes, you have three fingers, even four fingers. I mean, it has so many options. And here you have different actions. Actions of the system, like options here to resize your windows, like I was showing you in a second, but through a gesture. And that's it, guys. I mean, like it's pretty self-explanatory. Here is the gesture, here is the action, and here Normally, you will see some options for the action. Let's just set up something really quickly so that I can show you what I mean. I have this application, which is called PopClip. And PopClip is like a little toolbar similar to the one that you see on your phone whenever you select text. And they, it gives you options to format the text like this. Let's go here. Like you select this text and you have all of these options. You can make it all capital. You can just do it like a sentence. Uh, you can underline, bold, put in quotations, and you have like so many different extensions from this application that you can actually download from the internet. 
But let's just not go into pop clip too much. I just wanted to tell you that I like this toolbar, but I don't want it to appear all the time. And pop clip has the option of assigning a shortcut. Now, let's say, since I already have so many different shortcuts applied around my system, I usually make them pretty complicated or something that I would not uh, press by accident. So let's just say I want to say Control, Option, Command, P. Now, whenever I select the text and I press Control, Option, Command, P, there we go. We see the, the bar. But inside Better Touch Tool, I have the option of, uh, let's say, I want to swipe up here with my two fingers. And whenever I swipe up, I want this shortcut to be triggered. Control, Option, Command, P. There we go. Now, whenever I am typing something, this is some text. I can select it and I can swipe up with my two fingers. And there it is. It's pressing the shortcut for that application. Now, there's some applications that are in my menu bar. So all the shortcuts will be global, which means I don't have to be in that application for the shortcut to work. And the cool thing is that you can actually send here. We have this option of controlling other applications and you can send the shortcut to a specific app. For example, one thing that I do a lot is controlling Spotify whenever I'm typing or whenever I'm going through pictures or editing and all that. I can just tap with my three fingers and Spotify will stop or start playing. It's basically sending a space bar shortcut to Spotify. Or I can jump to the next track, I can go to the previous track, all without having to have Spotify on my main screen. Let me show you real quickly. And I will not play any music because I don't want to get into uh, problems with copyright. But here, let's say it's in the background and with a three finger tap, there we go. It started playing. With another three finger tap, pause. And I can just jump to the next one with a tip tap to the right. And with a tip tap to the left, it will go to the previous track, as you can see in this area. Next song, next song, next song, next song, pause. You know, you have all of this control just at your fingertips, no matter which application is in the front in this case. Those are the main functions that I have for Better Touch Tool. I have another application, which is for video, actually. It's called INA or I-I-N-A. And whenever I'm watching a video or I'm listening to interviews or taking a class, this application has the option of enter picture in picture with Control Command P. Now I can be working on something else and I can be watching in PIP mode this way, just with a two finger swipe, with a three finger tap again, playing the video. See, it's playing down here. And be working on something else, blah, blah, blah. I want to see it bigger, swipe down. Oh, interesting. Now let's just go back to the background. That's it. Oh, pause. There it is, it pause. Let's go back. See, you have the option of controlling the application totally with your magic mouse in a very fun way, actually. For window management, I have some gestures here. Let me open separate windows so that you can see. Let's say you're working on something and it starts to get, crowd, get crowded. I want this screen just maximized. So I press Command and I just tap. There we go. Or Alt and tap and it will become like 80%. Or Shift and tap and it will be full screen. Shift, tap. There's several different good applications for window management, but this one honestly has more than enough functionality. I can even drag again and 
it will adapt to whatever while I press two keys. And if I have three screens, for example, and I want them side by side, I can press Alt, Shift, and then tip tap to the left, and there we go. It arranges everything like that. And these are things that I just have set up here. I have all of these things. One finger, tap left, it will maximize to the left, blah, blah, blah. You can do anything that fits your need. And for example, another thing that I use a lot is um, instead of opening the new tab with Command T, which you can do, I have it set up so that it's with a three finger swipe up. There we go, three finger swipe up, new tab, three finger swipe down, it closes the tab. If I want to open a link in the new tab without going there, it's a two finger click. There we go. It open it here. If I want to open it and go to that tab, I do a three finger click. And close again, close again. Let's go resize the window. Let's say um, my screen is getting too crowded with so many things. And I only want this one to appear and I want everything else hidden. I have a four finger swipe up. There we go. Four fingers wrap up. Everything disappeared. It's still open, but it's just in the background. Or I want the opposite. Let's say I have many different windows and I'm here and I want to hide this one. Four fingers wrap down. I want to quit Chrome. Four finger click. This one is a little bit tricky. There we go. You already quit Chrome. So there's two finger swipes, two finger clicks, three finger swipes, three finger clicks, four finger swipes four finger clicks, and that's just scratching the surface. Another thing that is very cool is that you have the option of, um, let's go here and I will show you the clipboard manager. Clipboard. Clipboard pasteboard history. And this is with a two finger swipe up, just for now, just for the sake of demonstration. That way, you can be copying text around, texting one, blah, blah, blah. And then, let me hide this. Some more text. I copy that. Or if you're on the internet, you're browsing, and you find something cool, and you copy it, and then you just swipe up with your two fingers, and then you have all of this history of things that you copied around. This is so useful whenever you are typing an article yourself or taking notes on something. Um, you can actually apply some text transformations here and you can go back and paste things that you copied yesterday or days before. You know, it's so useful, really, really, really. I use another application for clipboard management, which is Pastebot. I just think this one looks a little bit better. But honestly, the one from Better Touch Tool is very, very, very cool. And that's it, guys. I really hope that you got a little bit of a grasp on how to use this application. I'm not getting paid to promote it at all, but I truly think that it has totally, totally changed how I approach simple tasks. It just makes everything so much more enjoyable. I love applications like this because you can even get creative about how you personalize your system for your own needs. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. This application has a trial, so you can go in there and play a little bit. And if you are wondering if something can be done or not, you can even tell me and I can even try it out just for you. I would love to help you out if necessary. But anything else, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.